guys, it's me, Kiv Mischief, and I today want to talk about my experience being in a music video. I was in a music video with Miss Crystal. She's a local artist and she's getting big and she's awesome and nice. And I also did um, a photo shoot with her where I made her a Venom cosplay and I happen to join as Spawn just because, yeah, no, they're not in the same universe, but they're both anti-heroes. It, it was cool, okay? <laughs> and um, and I, I, I've been wanting to do a photo shoot with my Spawn too, so I got some pretty cool shots. Anyways, not the point. So what happened was I had met Miss Crystal during my cousin's graduation ceremony. She was a speaker at my cousin's graduation. And so try to find a way that you can give value and to be different. Own your uniqueness. Own your weirdness. It's what makes you beautiful. And that speech was very inspiring. It was very good to hear for the, the graduates and for, for me being where I am. And so, and then she played like a beautiful acoustic version of her, of one of her songs. good and so afterwards when when everyone went out to the front and we were trying to find my cousin I saw her uh, standing over by the corner and no one was no one was 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 talking to her yet because everyone was searching for their family so I took that chance to go up and tell her that her speech was inspiring and then we just kind of got to talking um, she noticed the way I look and she, she mentioned that I must be artistic and so I said oh, I do costumes you know and that's how we connected and we talked on Instagram and followed each other on Instagram and long story short which I mean I guess that wasn't a short version but long story shorter now is um, she made a post because she had a new music video that she needed to record and she was having a, a casting call and the requirements the ones that I spotted were gothic person cosplayer and I was like Hey, that's me! I mean, I'm not gothic, but I wouldn't consider myself gothic, but I have clothes that put together would probably would, would be considered gothic. So, I was, I, we were in the middle of messaging each other about um, the costume I was doing, and so I brought up the cast casting call, and uh, I gave her the information, blah blah blah. And so I came to the, the in-person casting call, which ended up being the cast meeting, <laughs> and so, so that was, that was cool. Um, she, once I got there, I was so nervous because we also were um, supposed to either bring the outfits we were going to wear or just come in them. And so I brought this outfit. <laughs> and um, she really liked it. But the thing was, the, the music video was going to be a little bit more grungy. So she liked it, but she wanted me to, like, not be as pretty, you know? And immediately I was like, okay, you know what? I actually have this jacket from one of my cosplays from uh, this it was like a fanfic from that I found on Tumblr that I saw a bunch of fan art of and I, I loved the design of Witcher Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh! And I, I've been I loved that cape I made but I haven't been able to figure out how to reuse it for something, which I probably still will, but Either way, that, that one came to mind and I said, what if I brought this? And she said, ooh, that's awesome. She's like, bring that. And she's like, bring some outfits that, that we can consider, but definitely bring that one because I think that's the one. And I said, all right, cool. And then um, I had also asked, I said, should I do my hair? Or should I bring like this wig? Because this wig, the wig was, even though it was pretty, it definitely had the, uh, like the frizzy, you know. And she said, bring the wig, bring any wig that I would think, and then we'll go, we'll go for it. So that cast meeting was actually two days, I believe, before the shoot. Yeah, it was two days before the shoot. I luckily have some clothes that like would work. So come two days later, it's the music video, and they had sent us an email for when the like certain extras were going to show up um, at what time. So then we're not there the whole entire day while they're shooting, just to work for you know two hours, which was nice because they were going for like over 12 hours recording that video. It was, it was, 
they must have been so tired. <laughs> but we came in, me and there was uh, only one other, I mean, there was three extras technically. But one of them, he was in a, a lot more of the video, so I wouldn't really call him an extra. He was definitely like part of the video. And then there was me and Kira's cat. And, um, and it's funny because, I mean, at the time I didn't have this color in my hair, it was just the blonde and then the, my brown, my natural brown. And he has the same hair, like same, we had the undercut. I mean, his is short, like shorter in the back, but he still has the long. So we looked like twins from the get go, but we'll bring that up later. So just remember that. And so anyways, we, we show up, I showed up with my, my big bucket of random assortment of stuff. I mean, there wasn't that many options, but it was like the cape was huge and it just, it, I needed a bucket <laughs> and a couple of wigs. And what ended up happening was I brought him in. She was, uh, Miss Crystal was definitely like in the zone, um, in the music video zone, and she knew what she wanted, which was good. Um, and, and she said, you know what? Put on that cape. And I was like, cool. <laughs> so I did. Um, at, at first, she was going to use my regular hair and just like style it and have the, have um, Angel, the, the <laughs> we have the same name, but the, the hairstylist uh, style it. And man, I looked so pretty. He made, he did my hair so good. I wish I knew how to do that to myself because man, that was nice. <laughs> but anyways, Kiris ended up having a wig, a silver wig, which ended up being the same silver as my wig. Anyways, so at the point, I had um, Angel start doing my hair. They told me to do the makeup that I did just without like a cross and, and try to just do like the base of it and then we would smudge it up. But the way I did it, they ended up liking and they were like, you know what? Keep that, just match Kiris's. And so later on, um, in the, before we started shooting me and Kiris actually, what happened was uh, Miss Crystal ended up looking at us in the in the area that we were supposed to be, and she said, "Just kind of darken uh, everyone." So we we got our eyes a little bit more darkened, our our cheeks were darkened, and and so we looked more ethereal, I feel like, but like spooky ethereal. I don't know what word I'm looking for, but we definitely otherworldly. We definitely look otherworldly in my opinion. Like it was it was cool. I love how we look. Every single time I showed up in the in the video, I was like, ah, we look so cool. But anyways, point is, we did that, and then she looked at us and she's like, actually, Angel, Angel you brought your wig, right? And I said, yeah. She's like, go put it on. <laughs> and I did feel a little bit bad at first. I was, I was like, oh, poor Angel worked on my hair and he made it look all nice, and I'm gonna put it back in a wig. But I tried to put it like nicely into the wig cap so maybe I could wear the hair out afterwards. Nah, I sweated too much. My hair was flat <laughs> by the time it was done. But anyways, uh, I went upstairs, I put my wig on. Oh, I took a couple of selfies before I did, but like really quick because, you know, <laughs> we have a shoot to do. And so uh, I put my wig on, came back down. They threw a uh, baby powder on us to kind of like dirty us up. My cape did not want to keep the baby powder at all. I had to like move super slow and like not do anything. And even then somehow like it absorbed all the baby powder. And so they had to keep before our, our, our shoots. So anyways, we were watching, there's, there's a cool, during the, the one scene where it's her and then the guy with a spiky mask, um, like standing there and, and there was this light that was like swinging around them and the director was recording and like, he was doing like these cool, like, like purposeful like shakes and it looked like, cause like if I did that, it would just look like, but like he, he got those like spooky shakes down and, um, it looks so cool. And me and Kiris were just kind of like watching from, from uh, not afar, but we were like from a little more distance than everyone else. I think because we were kind of like, this is our first time doing stuff, you know? And um, either way, uh, they did that. They, she moved to the, the little crates and did some, some stuff there for a while. And I remember that's when I started getting closer and trying to take a couple little shots, little shots, little pictures. Then I was like bopping around, like, I like that song. And what ended up happening was she went to go change to do, I think, a different outfit and different hair, if not just a different outfit. Um, but she went upstairs and she said, just record, just do whatever you want with the extras right now and then we'll, we'll do what I wanted to do with them. And so we went up to this wall and we kind of, or wait, did we do the wall first? Either way, I'll, I'll start with there. I don't remember which, which came first, but 
We went up to the wall where the paint was already peeling and we had permission by the owners that we could peel the paint. I mean, we can't take off the whole wall, but like we could grunge it up a little bit more. And so like they recorded us separately, both like pulling the paint and, and one of them was curious, which this part ended up in the video like real quick. Um, where he's peeling the paint and then I pop up and look at it. So like there we were peeling the paint doing creepy things And then we had stood up straight and we were next to each other and we were looking at the camera And then he's, he would say like like reach out for us and we would like reach out and like or sharp and not sharp Just kind of like slow and like tilt your head and sometimes snap it and stuff like that We were you know being creepy and so we did that there was a couple like where we would turn and look at the camera at the same time. So we did a bunch of like little little things. And when uh, Miss Crystal ended up coming down, they ended up having, she, she had masks for us that she wanted us to wear. One of them was a gas mask and one of them was like a cat, like Halloween sparkly mask. And she wanted the gas mask on me at first, but they were like, are you, are you sure you, are you okay with this? And I said, yeah, whatever you guys want. And so the makeup artist, she ended up, she was very like, like weary and she's like is this a good filter you guys she's gonna breathe through this is you know is this is this clean and I was thankful that she was worried and she she put it on me and she kept she kept asking if I was all right you know is this good and I said yeah I can I can do this and the thing was it was not only I mean it wasn't too hard to breathe but it definitely was like it wasn't hard to breathe per se it was just with how hot and humid it got inside of the mask. The lenses, the eye, the eye lenses were fogging up and I couldn't see anything. I could vaguely see like a really bad silhouette of everyone and then like the light behind them. But when you look at, when I see it in the video or in the pictures, I'm like, you can see my eyes like almost clearly. Like I couldn't see crap. We ended up recording that part where, um, like let's say there was a part where we were behind her and she was like dancing, then she would back up in between us and then they would say, okay, turn towards each other and we would both turn towards, well, her. And she would be like, you know, singing and we'd be facing her. She would dance on us, <laughs> not, not on us, but like touching us. <laughs> so that sounds funny. She's dancing with us, but we were being spooky and standing still. <laughs> And um, and so I tried to like, I, I wasn't sure if they could see my eyes, so I tried to always just look at her, but I was like, I was just glad that you couldn't see my, my mouth because Kyrus is way good at keeping that straight face. And I think it's because he's a model and like he's like, he's a professional and, and he knows, he knows how to, how to be intense. And me, I'm just, I mean, maybe if I didn't have that, if I didn't know for sure that they wouldn't see my expression, I might have been better at keeping my face. I mean, I would, I think I would be, because I know that that would, that those shots require me to. But because it was covered, I was a little lenient. <laughs> and so, either way, that was, that was really fun. Um, we ended up doing that for a while, and then, and it got to the point where sometimes I didn't hear what was said to me, and they were like, Angel, turn! <laughs> and I was like, oh, <laughs> you know? And stuff and it was, it was really cool and that ended up being just all that we ended up being needed for which still took a good I think two hours but we um, then went to well immediately right when the like this the scene was done I kind of like glanced to the makeup artist that I hope like I hoped this this dark shadow was her <laughs> and I felt like it was because that's where I saw her last it was and she ended up coming up and immediately taking off me. She's like, are you all right? Like, and everyone was like, are you okay? Like, are you, can you, like, and I was like, yeah, I'm good. I said, I just couldn't see. And I said, but I could, I could breathe fine because it got to a point where I like held it. Like I, I held my, my chin out a little bit where it was like letting some air in <laughs> down here. And, and, and then Kirsten's like, could you hear them? And I was like, sometimes, <laughs> like it was a little, a little weird. So I think they knew that I was a little, a little I was a little off because of the gas mask, but otherwise like, it was, it was good. And so they took off the masks and I looked at myself in, in the in the selfie camera because I wanted to see how my makeup looked. And it was, it was still nice. It was all still there. I don't know what kind of like ceiling powder the makeup artist had, but like I should have asked. <laughs> and anyways, so we went upstairs and we ended up going up more stairs to do a little interview. 
and they, they asked us some questions like how we met this crystal, who we are, where we plan to go, yada yada. And me and Kiris did ours together, kind of like, we were both on the, the couch, but kind of like, I would sit in the middle if it was my turn, if it was his turn, and then there was like, I think there was a couple of questions where we were both sitting right there next to each other. And so we took also a picture inside of that area, and that looks, that looks awesome. Like you can see still, my makeup looked like I wasn't sweating for 20 minutes <laughs> or 10 minutes, I don't know how long it was. And it was awesome. We, we waited there for a while and then, yeah, like I was glad, like as much as I liked how pretty that hair was, I was glad that she ended up going, yeah, put on that wig because one, I really like that wig and two, it looks so cool. Like, like I keep calling him my twin minion because we're technically, we're not extras, we're minions and so, I keep calling him like when I tag him and stuff, I'm like, my twin minion, because it's like under the wig, we have the same hair almost, and then we have a wig and it matches, and <laughs> it was really fun. So yeah, we ended up, you know, heading out, thank thanked Miss Crystal, and awaited the music video, which ended up coming out be within the month, and it's amazing, you guys should check it out, I mean, it, it'll be linked in the description below. I will also link the behind the scenes video as well that I took some of the, I, I took clips from both of those videos for this video, but please watch those because they're amazing and like the videos are amazing. Miss Crystal and the crew are amazing. Um, the directors, the producers, co-producers, all of them were so really nice and, and yeah. So that was my experience. It was really fun. I would definitely do it again if I could. If I felt like I could fit the part like I definitely, like the creepy was definitely in my realm of abilities, <laughs> for the most part. I have friends that can be creepier, so, <laughs> but yeah, so please go check that out and subscribe to Miss Crystal, subscribe to me, like this, like those videos, all of that, all that fun stuff. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed me talking about my experience being on a music video. Yeah. Alright, so... Bye!